Hi, this is Worth of YoDemo.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about the basics of Paint.net, which you can get at www.getpaint.net. Uh, and right over here in this location, you'll see that you can just click and you can download Paint.net. Uh, I'm using version 3.36 for this tutorial. So um, after you get it, uh, you can just install it. The only prerequisite is that you have the .NET architecture on your Windows uh, machine. This is a free software, so don't pay for it. Don't buy it from anyone. And if if you have bought it from anyone, try to get your refund unless they are in like some Cambodian country. Then they pretty much have your money. Now that you have Paint.NET installed, I'm going to give you the basics of Paint.NET. We have four widgets open. One is the tools, the colors, the layers, and also the history of whatever you have done in Paint.NET. So I'm just going to close that one, and I'm going to close the layers. So right now I have two of my windows closed. The way that you open back up windows is you just restore window locations. So what it does is just bring back any of the items that I've closed. So if you're ever missing anything, anytime, that's the way you get it back. Also, you can select and deselect any of these items. They also have shortcuts to them. You can also turn on and off the translucent, translucent effect that comes with it. Like if you look at colors, when it goes over the image, it has this uh, transparent effect. But if you want it to totally be opaque, uh, then you can just turn that effect off. Uh, let's open up a image and look at some of the zooming effects that you can do. Some all the zooming and stuff. Okay, great. So now with my image open, and of course, if you want to open an image, you just go to open and locate your image file. After you opened up a number of images, you'll have recent uh, images, and they come along with a thumbnail, which makes it really easy to see. Also, we have Acquire, which you can get your image from a scanner or camera. Of course, you have to close, save, save as, you know, basic stuff like that. So, all right, now we're going to get into the zooming. For zooming, of course, we have these top panels to zoom out and zoom in. Also, we can bring down the number to get a specific number. Uh, we have the view here, which zooms in and zooms out. Uh, be mindful that the shortcut is control minus and control plus for zooming in. You can get it to the window, actual size, and just uh, a few more tips. Let's learn all the ways to do this. Is We can go over to our selection tool and we can select an area in which we want to zoom into and we can go to use a few things to get to that selected area. We can go to view and we can zoom to selection or we can hold control shift B. So I'll just click on that for now. And what that'll do, if you select any area and you want to zoom in that specific area, you can use your selection tool to zoom in. So I'm just going to use control minus If you have a middle mouse button, you can hold control and scroll in with your mouse button and scroll out with your middle mouse button which is pretty cool also if you let go of the mouse, middle mouse button and the control button also you can scroll up and down also if you hold shift and scroll you'll scroll left and right so that's just a little bit of information when you're really up close to an image when you're getting really fine with the details holding the space bar will allow you to grab your image and move it around so you're able to you know navigate around your image really useful for when you get really close and uptight with your images so that's pretty much the quick hand tool by holding the space bar so let's zoom out of our image so now that we pretty much know all the ways that we can zoom in and out of our image let us look at images that are open. Right now I have two images that are open. One blank one and one uh, not blank one. 
So the way we navigate between open images is that we have these tabs with these little thumbnails. So we just click on a tab on the image that you want. So if I go to this clear one, there it is. Now if I do something to this image, anything, uh, I'll just go to this brush tool and I'll just draw something in there. Once you've drawn something in the image, a star will come up indicating that you have made a change and it needs to either be saved or don't save it because you made a change. So when we want to close items, of course, we select the item and we press the red X which gives us this foreground window that says, do you want to save this, yes or no? And I don't want to save this, I want to discard it. So that's how you do that. So opening images is a blast. So now recent images will fill up all our um, images that we have opened. Of course, good things to know about editing is you have your undo, you have redo, cut, copy, paste, paste into a new layer, which is really useful because their layers are used in paint.net. This allows to a whole new level of editing. Okay. So now let's look at some of these other windows. We have resizing, which is very important. Let's click on that. The foreground window pops up. It gives indicates to you the new size when you resize your image. If you man, maintain the aspect ratio, uh, whatever number you change, it will compensate for it. So you are always left with a good looking image. You can also change the type of reset the resizing algorithm, you know, uh, to get the best looking image uh, for your resize. So that's very important. Um, we also have the adjustments where you can do your color correction and changing it to stuff like sepia and turning it black and white. We have the effects, which you can, which you can find some of these com some of these ones that are commonly used in Photoshop and stuff like that. And other really nice editing programs. All right, let's look at the history real quick. For the history, um, it basically redoes whatever you've done and to a certain degree. So let's look at, I'm going to go to this pen tool again. And colors is self-explanatory. You know, you just pick a color. Not too hard. You know, you click more, you get a better, you get more things to play around with. So, all right, so I'm just going to click on that color. And I'm just going to use that color all over here and everything that you've done it goes into history so if you want to backtrack you know you go there and it's not there anymore but you say wait a minute I like that paintbrush graffiti then just clicking on that item brings it right back so that's pretty much for the basics uh, there is selection and we'll get into that later but for now you pretty much know how to zoom in and out and all sorts of um, ways to look at your image, how to open it, how to close it, and the next tutorial will get into the tools and editing some of these items. So thanks for watching this Yo Demo tutorial. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, and uh, go to my website YoDemo.com where you can click on an attitude to support Yo Demo and keep these tutorials coming out. Thanks for watching.